The following program has been made possible by the partners of Moment of Shining and viewers like you. This has been one of the amazing year ever. And uh, we have seen ma mighty miracles of God. Mighty miracles of God. Uh, I don't want to be, I, wa I don't want to start getting into sharing all what we have seen. But there has been great and mind blowing miracles this year. I, 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 I promised a sister that her testimony will be one of the testimonies that I will never forget to share. And I want to keep the promise. So I only tell you one. I was, I was in Mangochi this year. And now we had the many of you know Mangochi has got uh, a good population of Muslims. We saw many Muslims attending our session. We had actually sheikhs. We call them like that. In, it's, it's much better in Chichewa. Sheikhs. Okay. Sheikhs. Sheikhs. With, with their, you know, uh, I don't know what they call it. Atavala Sikofia. Oh, Chikofia. Mm. I don't think it has got an English word. Kofia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, he's standing and uh, they were mighty blessed. But there was one lady. She had a child in 1998. Eight. And the 1998, right? I see my pastor is okay. nodding. I, I, I may, I'll ask him some other time for him too. We had a good time at his place. And this lady had a child in 1998. And uh, after giving birth, Looks like there were some complications. So from 1998, she kept on breeding. Up to 2000, she was having a problem with the uh, whether it was continued bleeding was, was just you know. They went to check. They found that there was a problem with the Hawam. And in the year 2000. They were 2000. They, she didn't say 
what exalted doctors did in the year 2000 but she was told in the year 2000 that she will never have a child again we didn't ask why they told you that but I know it's because they removed the womb the womb that was giving problem they decided just to take it out so from 2000 up to 2019 she stopped having biological processes she couldn't at all from 2000 to 2019 how many years 19 years she had a child 1998 2019 we met up in a crusade in the midst of thousands and thousands in a stadium she stood I don't know where believing that the prayer that is being offered will change her season will change the situation and guess what right at the crusade she started her mother's biological process right at the crusade she left the crusade went to check couldn't believe what is happening to her and when I was taking the testimony I remember she said 1998 that's when I had a child I'm having another one now after 19 yes. 19 years there is a God in heaven he can change any situation any situation I told her I've seen miracles of God but this one is so special so special at least God could have waited for some days but it happened right at the crusade right there at the crusade she realized she has everything now you know that this is not the first testimony of a wombo being recreated my first experience was a little girl let me not call it a little because you may think Lily young. A teenager growing up and everybody thinking she's normal. But at the age of 15, 16, they realized that she couldn't go through biological process. She's not maturely coming to age then i think she was i don't know whether 17 at that time we were praying for her yeah, and they also noticed that the priest couldn't come out yeah. very small priest the priest couldn't come out yeah. then they took her to the hospital yeah. to check when she went to the hospital yeah. they found out that she she had no hormone she was missing a hormone that uh you know tell the body to to age okay. and they said that hormone is not there but before they could give her the hormone they connected that it was because she had a something missing she never had a womb so says you don't have a womb you were born without a womb and because of that there is no hormone that can mature your body so this is to be that so the bliss couldn't come out she couldn't go through you know mature and start experiencing what every woman experiences. and she came to our meeting at lunzu and we prayed for her amazingly god doesn't work on this one god didn't 
you know uh enlarge the priest in eastern tree. I wanted if he had done this but he didn't do that but it was in the short space of time she realized her priests are coming out fast within a space of one month she was a fully grown woman and as she went to the hospital they found that that hormone that was missing is full in her body and not just the hormone she also has a worm which was missing in her wow <laughs> I can go on and go on I can go on and go on I can go on and go on. I was speaking simply testimonies that maybe you can easily relate. How, what is it that one needs to do in order to put himself to experience the miracles of God? Simple. One scripture I'll tell you first. Matthew's chapter. Uh, Go with me to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew 16. Verse. Let's start from 18 and 19. 18 and 19. Many of you know about Peter. Then I'll give you the two thoughts that I want. I want just for you to see this. Then we are about to see God's power moving in our lives. Very, in short, in a very few minutes to come. I say unto you, this is. Jesus talking to Peter. Yes, This was after Peter said, I know you. You are the Messiah. Then Jesus says, I say unto you that thou art Peter. Yes, You are a rock. And he says, and upon this rock, on a very big rock now, which means he's not still talking about Peter. But he says, you are that rock. You are the product of what is about to happen. He says, you are the very same thing. You are the rock. That's what the word Peter is. But it says, but upon this bigger rock, which means the revelation that you have just told me, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail it. So he told Peter, you are not different from the church I'm building. You are the rock. You are Petrus. You are Petro and you are coming from the Petra. He says, this is a big thing that I'm building. And you will be the living stone. Part of the church. So when you see the church, see yourself. My goodness. Why is this so powerful? It's because of the power of the church. The church has a final say. Has a final say. In St. Matthew chapter 18. Matthew 18. Let me just show you what the church is. Chapter 18. Look from verse 15. Let's start from 15. Yeah, 15. I, I want you to catch me. I'm not taking long, but I want you not to miss me because I'm about to give you the principle that to some of you, it will help you to bring miracles in other people's lives. And to some of you, you from today, you start working a life of supernatural. You know how to position yourself to see the works of God in your life. And I'm giving you the key. Okay. Look at the church. He says, moreover, if thy brother shall transpass against you, go and tell him 
tell his thoughts between between the okay. okay. so if something wrong if i have done something wrong he has done something wrong it will make it easier he says i should go to him okay. and tell him the th the the thought the yeah. but look at the limitation i have yeah. look at the limitation he says and him alone just two of us that's the first thing if he shall not hear thee if he shall hear you rather you have gained your brother but look at the second one go to 16 but if you will not hear you in other words he says no i don't hear what you say he says then he take with the one or more two in other words i have a limitation by myself if this man doesn't take what i'm telling you i have no final words i have no power to conclude the matter it is still in the process he says go and get another one or two of them so that we say help me are you following what i'm saying so i have got my brothers to talk to him look still at our limitation we are three of us trying to convince the brothers yes. but if you want here you can take with you one or two more that in the mouth of two weaknesses every way will be established many you know that, that principle so that what you say here it is established because it has got witnesses but look at still with us with the witnesses go on but if he shall neglect even with the witnesses tell it to church tell it to church can you come now go just, church has got all genders right tell it to church tell it to church when we come as a church he should be very careful because as a church this is final we have a final word we have the, what, the last word to tell him there will never be any leaf for place this is where we end the matter when church comes in, he says let him he says tell him to church if he neglects us let him let him become a heathen man in other words let the church agree you are no longer born again whether you, you speak in tongues we have decided that you are no longer a born again and indeed by what we have said this man no matter the tongues he is an outsider we have Spotted as a church, you follow what I'm saying? And now, when in that place, Jesus was telling him, Yes, Peter, Petro, you don't know what I'm doing. You will be a rock from the rock. In other words, one man who speak on behalf of everybody, his word will be fine. When he speaks, it's done. That's why the second verse says, what I'm giving you now is the key. Whatever you say, it will you bind it it's bound you lose it it's loose it's the power of the church if you go even in the very same chapter of 18 you go down the other verse it says whatever the church says it loses it's loose
here who says something has happened to her. Raise up your hands. Almost everyone, almost everyone has an assurance of a miracle. Give a shout of victory to God. And take your seats so that we hear what God has done.
Thank you for watching. We hope you have been blessed. If you have enjoyed this resource and would like to access more, call 0 888 or visit www.fountainofvictory.org.